In this video, we'll take a look at every food and drink item coming to the 2024 Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival, which offers culinary delights with a Disney twist. Embark on an Epicurean adventure, sip wine, taste exquisite eats, and enjoy family-friendly entertainment March 1st through April 22nd, 2024. Valid ticket and park reservation for same park on the same day is required to attend the festival. Food and beverage items are not included in admission. Leave a comment on which items you're most excited to try when watching this video, and if you find it helpful, please give the video a like. Let's take a look. Let's start with an overview of the food items available at the Marketplace booths. First up is the Baja style fish taco, which is new, plant-based. Barbecue beef brisket slider, a barbecue pulled pork mac and cheese, which is new, a carbonara garlic mac and cheese, which is my favorite, carnitas style pork belly, new, cheese pizza flavored wings, which are new, a new cheeseburger bao, a chili relleno empanada, we had that last year, super spicy, but really tasty, grilled top sirloin, new this year are two impossible items, beef stroganoff and chicken parm bites, and to finish it up, shrimp papas locas, which are also new. The desserts coming to the Marketplace booths include the Mickey-shaped macaron made with Snickers, that's a festival favorite, olive oil cake, new, raspberry almond cake, also new, and a brand new s'mores caramel tart. Now let's take a closer look at each of these items and see what they're all about. At the California Craft Brews booth, the Cheeseburger Bao has Thousand Island dressing with grilled onions, pickles, and tomato relish. The s'mores caramel tart is a tart shell filled with caramel and chocolate ganache topped with a toasted marshmallow. Here's what that cheeseburger bow looks like, and that s'mores caramel tart both look really good. Next up, at the Cluck A Doodle Moo booth, there is the cheese pizza flavored wings with ranch dip, the barbecue beef brisket slider with smoked white cheddar and dill pickles on a salt and pepper brioche, and here's what those items look like. The wings look really good, and that slider mm, looks delicious. At the Delish booth is that carbonara garlic mac and cheese, which is a festival favorite, featuring that applewood smoked pepper bacon. Make sure you get this one when you visit the festival. And also the olive oil cake. It's glazed with lemon curd and topped with vanilla bean chantilly, finished with fresh candied lemons, strawberry crunch, and a lemon lime gelée. Here's a look at those items. Here's a look at that mac and cheese, and we'll edit in a video here in just a second. A new booth this year, Earth Eats, with those two impossible items. The chicken parm bites come with tomato and cheese sauces and grated parmesan. That impossible beef stroganoff is egg noodles and a mushroom cream sauce with impossible beef and sour cream. And here's a look at those two items. Over at the Garlic Kissed booth is grilled top sirloin with roasted garlic Gruyere smashed potatoes and a black garlic chimichurri. This looks absolutely amazing. This is on my list to try, opening day. The Golden Dreams booth only has one food item and it kind of is a dessert, I guess. It's a frozen old fashioned. It's non-alcoholic, it's new. It's bourbon flavored ice cream with bitters crema, orange zest glaze, and cherry spheres. At the LA style booth, there's a carnita style pork belly with a Skites corn mac salad featuring tahine habanero. And a Baja style fish taco, this is plant based, this should be interesting, with a cabbage slaw, cilantro lime crema, and pico de gallo. And here's a look at those two items. Nuts about cheese, there is a big bad barbecue pulled pork mac and cheese with crispy dill pickle onions. And the festival favorite Mickey shaped macaron with Snickers. That is a chocolate Mickey-shaped macaron filled with caramel ganache made with Snicker bar pieces. And we'll take a look at those right here, and then we'll edit in a video of the macaron from last year. If you like spice, hit up Peppers Caliente. There's the chili relleno empanada with pepper salsa, Oaxaca, and cotija cheeses. This was spicy last year, before Warren. And there's shrimp papas locas, which are new this year, cheddar bacon potatoes with jalapeno cheese sauce, and chipotle shrimp. And here's a look at both of those. At Uncork California, there is one dessert item. It is the raspberry almond cake. It is new. It is an almond cake with raspberry mousse and fresh raspberries on top. Now let's take a look at the non-alcoholic beverages available at the Marketplace booth. The Kiwi Apple Lemonade is available at the Cluck A Doodle Moo. It is Minute Maid Lemonade with apple juice and Kiwi and Granny Smith apple syrups garnished with a purple orchid. At Delish, there is the Huckleberry Citrus Cooler. It is Gold Peak Black Tea, Huckleberry and Agave Syrups, Grapefruit Soda, Lemon and Orange Juices garnished with an orange wedge. Here's a look at those two and they look beautiful. Even though it is more of a dessert and comes in a frozen bar form, I put that frozen old fashioned at Golden Dreams here just for fun. But there's also the Fig and Matcha Latte at Golden Dreams, which is new. It has matcha, soy milk, and coconut and simple syrups topped with a fig, oat sweet cream, and garnished with matcha powder. Then there's the Blueberry Pancake Cold Brew. It is Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company's Mexican Origin Coffee with maple syrup, brown butter, and demerara syrups with oat milk and a blueberry sweet cream garnished with cinnamon flavored cereal crumble. <laughs> That's a lot. You'll find a wide variety of beers available at the California Craft Brews booth. 
Here is a list of all those items. I'm not going to read through them. Feel free to pause the screen if you want to take a look. There are also beer flights available and that frozen mango nata beer slush, which is Brewery X Baja Boy with mango puree, rock melon syrup, grapefruit juice, and mango chamoy glaze. That sounds really good. And a lot of the beers that you see here can be served michelada style, so just ask when you're at the booth. And the food and beverages do not stop there. There are additional selections around the park beyond those festival booths. Let's take a look. Here's a look at all of the savory dishes available around the park. There is a barbecue chicken pizza at Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta, available as a slice or a whole pie. There is a charcuterie flatbread available at Sonoma Terrace. There is a cheese quesadilla, which is the Disney check meal at Paradise Garden Grill. Chicken lollipop at Hollywood Lounge and Studio Catering Company. There is the chicken mushkan, I hope I'm saying that correctly, at Paradise Garden Grill. The picture of that looks really amazing. There is a loaded baked potato, which is plant-based at Paradise Garden Grill. Loaded carnitas pretzel bites at select outdoor vending locations. Pastrami fries at Smoke Jumpers Grill. A sisig burrito at Paradise Garden Grill. And a tacos gobernador at Paradise Garden Grill and a turf and a little bit of surf toast at Lamplight Lounge. Let's take a closer look at those items. The barbecue chicken pizza is a barbecue spiced chicken, house-made barbecue sauce, red onion, and chopped cilantro. The chicken lollipops are beer brine chicken with poblano mashed potatoes, caramelized fennel, and fried carrots. Turf and a little bit of surf is filet mignon with aromatic cauliflower puree, soy glazed potatoes, grilled asparagus, mushrooms, and black garlic red wine reduction served with a side of shrimp toast. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. Now here's a look at that barbecue chicken pizza and the chicken lollipop. The Sisig burrito is seasoned pork, onions, and serrano peppers, garlic fried rice, scrambled eggs, and marinated tomatoes with a side of chicharrones and vinegar dipping sauce. This is on my list for one of the first items to get opening day. The chicken mushakan, I, I may have said that wrong last time and I hope I'm getting it correct this time, is roasted spice half chicken and sumac stewed onions on flatbread with a Mediterranean salad and garlic yogurt dipping sauce. Also on my list for one of the first items opening day. The tacos are chipotle marinated shrimp tacos with pepper jack served with Spanish rice and refried beans. And that loaded baked potato, which is listed as plant-based, has seasoned steak dips, I'm assuming that's plant-based, with barbecue baked beans with cheese sauce, tangy slaw, and green onions. Here's a look at the burrito and the chicken. Again, those are on my must-try list. And then here's the tacos and that loaded potato. Pastrami fries or crinkle cut fries topped with cheese sauce, pastrami, smoke jumpers grill sauce, and pickles. The charcuterie flatbread features chef selection of deli and cured meats, mozzarella, caramelized onions, and chopped pepperoncini served with pepperoncini dip. The loaded carnitas pretzel bites come with cheese sauce, salsa verde, cilantro, and onions. Here are the pastrami fries and the charcuterie flatbread. For those with the sweet tooth, you can find the butter cake a la mode at Clarabelle's Hand Scooped Ice Cream, a butterscotch banana churro at Willie's Churro, a cannoli churro at Churros at Hollywood Land, chocolate espresso loaf at Cappuccino Cart, a no-bake peanut butter salted pretzel cheesecake at Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta, the pistachio cheesecake at Paradise Garden Grill, the spice shortbread churro at Churros near Goofy Sky School, strawberry lychee shortcake donuts at Lamplight Lounge, and unforgettable bing bong churro at Senior Buzz Churros. Here's a look at all of those churros. Which one are you going to try first? Comment below. Additional non-alcoholic beverages available in the park include the Honeydew Milk Tea at the Cappuccino Cart and the Strawberry Horchata at the Cocina Cucamonga Mexican Grill. Here are all the additional alcohol selections available during the festival around the park. There are way too many to read off, so feel free to pause the video and even screen cap it. Choose your selections before you get there so you know exactly what you want to try. Novelties this food and wine festival include the corksicle stainless steel stemless fluted dragonfly glass and the food and wine festival corksicle stainless steel stemless fluted jade glass. Limit two per person per transaction. No discount supply and available while supplies last. Now that you've seen all of the food and beverage options available at this year's food and wine festival, the best way to enjoy it is with a sip and savor pass. You can choose a pass that includes four or eight digital coupons that you can redeem for select food and non-alcoholic beverages at participating festival marketplace and dining locations. You can purchase those at the Sip and Saver Cart, Elias & Company, Julius Katz & Sons, Russian River Outfitters, Seaside Souvenirs, or the Festival Merchandise Booth. Sip and Saver offerings at participating dining locations are tasting size portion only, not full entrees. And that Sip and Saver Pass is redeemable at all of these locations for select items. Just remember that alcoholic beverages are not included and must be purchased separately. If you do not want to purchase a Sip and Saver Pass, you can purchase every item in this video a la carte. 
pricing varies, check the Disney website for current and updated pricing information. As of making this video, Disney had not released pricing for this year's Sip and Saver. Last year it was $59 for non-Magic Key holders, $54 for Magic Key holders, but I do not remember there being an option between a 4 and 8 tab redemption, so we'll have to wait and see. In addition to all the food and beverage we just showed you, for an additional cost, you can participate in Carthay Circle winemaker receptions. Also, for an additional fee, there are beverage, education, and tasting seminars, and hotel wine tasting and culinary events and mixology classes. Included with your park admission, of course, is Soren Over California. That is a limited time overlay on that ride. Live entertainment and character meet and greets throughout the park, plus all of the park's rides and attractions. Of course, we have to read the fine print. Valid Disney California Adventure Park ticket or Magic Key Pass and park reservations are required. Park reservations are limited, subject to a availability and not guaranteed. Guests must be 21 years of age or older to consume alcohol and to participate in some events. Valid government issued photo ID is required. All events, entertainment, menu items, prices, times, and dates are subject to change or cancellation without notice. The Sip and Saver Pass, its entitlements, food and beverage offerings, participating marketplace locations, and participating dining locations are subject to availability, restrictions, and change or cancellation without notice. Other restrictions may apply. 2024 Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival Sip and Saver Passes and all associated digital coupons expire April 22nd, 2024. Associated digital coupons may not be redeemed at any other event. We've made every attempt to make sure the information in this video is correct, but things do change and we may have missed something, so make sure you check that Disney website for up-to-date information before heading out to the 2024 Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival. We thank you for watching and hope this video was helpful in planning your visit to the Disney California Food and Wine Festival. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up and again, leave a comment below what item or items you are most excited to try. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel as we will be there opening weekend and report back with videos on our favorite items.